Welcome back to Athletic Everyday, day number 148. It's a lower body day. Uh, I was kind of rushed for this workout. Uh, I spent the day in London and then came back, decided to do the workout and then go out with some friends. Um, so it sh really shouldn't, this, this should be the priority, but you know, being single, you know, you've always got to try and put yourself out there. So it's, I'm finding there's this kind of conflict a lot with trying to uh, you know, fit training in around the rest of my life. But, you know, you wouldn't be living life if you're not living on the edge. If, you live, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space, is one of my favorite quotes. Um, and if you're not having conflict between certain areas of your life, then your life probably isn't full enough. You're not um, filling your life up with a bunch of things that you're interested in enough. Um, that being said, I kind of wish I would have allocated more time to this workout, maybe came back from London a bit earlier, because I was feeling quite rushed and getting a bit stressed doing this, um, and you know, this should really be the priority for me anyway. Uh, but nonetheless, um, actual content of the workout, I did some sprints, some jumps, uh, some single leg jumps. Uh, I was originally planning on doing a jump session, but my legs were feeling pretty exhausted at this point, and it would have been a lot less convenient to do the jumps around the back of my house as opposed to just doing them here um, nearby where I was doing the sprints. Uh, and then for the first time in probably over a year, I did some hip thrusts, but I'm a lot, I'm a, I'm a bit uncertain about um, the efficacy of hip thrusts for increasing vertical jump, whether they actually need to be done or not. Um, and just looking at a cost benefit analysis of doing the hip thrusts, I mean, I programmed for myself, so I'm gonna try them out for a few more weeks, but um, my lower back was really feeling not injured, but it was feeling sore after doing these hip thrusts. And I know for a fact that your lower back definitely shouldn't be feeling it. And when I was doing the hip thrusts, I did feel it quite a lot in my glutes, but I also felt it a little bit in my hamstrings as well. Maybe that's just a lack of glute activation. Maybe I don't know how to activate my glutes very much. Um, but to be honest with you, with how hip dominant I actually am with uh, squatting and jumping and sort of like squatting slash hinging movement patterns, I'm a very hip dominant type of person. My posterior chain is a lot stronger than my anterior chain. And therefore, I think the amount of value that I'm going to get from hip thrusts and the risks that I'm going to get from doing them for, uh, for my low back, I don't really think that they're worth doing. Um, I'll obviously, you know, reassess that. I'm not going to make a judgment as to whether I keep them in my program now. You know, you can't just do them once and then think that they're not going to work. I will do a cost benefit analysis in a couple of weeks, having tried them for a couple of weeks. But personally, I think that they're not going to be as much value as, for example, maybe a deadlift or maybe some kind of hinging movement pattern, as opposed to just focusing on that, um, you know, peak hip extension. But you know, after this uh, video of jumps, you'll see how they went for me. Worked up to a top set of 170. This is 150 that you're seeing here. Um, again, I've done up to like 200 kilos plus uh, for reps on hip thrusts. I think it also depends on the height that you elevate your shoulders to at the back. Um, and I, I, I don't really see if there's much value in doing them, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, 170 moved fine for five reps. I probably could do a lot heavier. Uh, I think hip, hip, uh, hip thrusts are a lot about the setup, to be perfectly honest with you. But yeah, that is um, yeah, hip thrusts for you guys. Uh, I don't think I'm going to include them in the future, but I'm going to keep on doing them for a few more weeks. Anyway, that is pretty much it for today's workout. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next one.